started. Look at what we done started. This the people party. It's a group of junkies. 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 Peace and love, party people. It's Talib Kweli and the place to be is the BKMC, the MCEO. You are tuned into the world's best podcast, The People's Party. And right about now, this show is all about town business. That's right, we are going to the Bay Area with this show. This show today has one of the legendary, iconic groups from the West Coast. They took it from the streets of Oakland, California, and went worldwide. This group is global, but this group is still from right around the way. They came onto the world stage where I got five on it, a song that was not just a song, but it's also a cultural movement. Operation Stackola. Yes. Crashed onto the Billboard charts. Stayed there. Yellow Brick Road. Pimps Players Hustlers. These is classics. Albums like Thugged Out. They came with albums later like Silver and Black. No Pressure. Recently, you've seen the iconic song I Got Five on it in the movie Us. We're going to get into that. Oh, We're going to pay yeah. homage to architects of the Bay Area sound. The highest niggas in the industry with a new member. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Cuzzo. <laughs> Shout out to Yuck Mouth. The Looney is in the motherfucking building. Yes, sir. What it do? Yada da. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Thanks yes. for having us, man. <laughs> Thank Yo, you for being here. I'm a big fan, bro. Nah, I appreciate big it. Big fucking fan, Ooh. man. Um, so we're going to start out like I'm this. glad I'm finally on here. I'm glad you're here, yeah, too. Thank you, Because I got a lot of questions. Uh, we gonna start I think we here. on here. Thank you. Yeah, we're nah, we're yeah, finally nah, on here. Finally, yeah, yeah thank you. We're going to start out with the new member. Yeah, please. We're going to start out <laughs> talking about Cuzzo. Cuzzo Fly. And we're going to break it down. Break it down. Break it down, break it. Basically, me and Numb, mm -hmm. when Numb, Numb was locked up for like seven years. Yes. You know, so me and Fly was doing this shit, you know what I mean? Yuck Mouth. You know, him, he was my hype man for my Yuck Mouth shit. Okay. So Numb gets out and we start torn again. So now he's a hype man for me and Numb shit. We doing this shit for like five years. So we think that he earned his keep. So Numb, you know, announced that he's the new member in the group. You know what I mean? So Numb put him in the group. I agree. You know what I mean? He definitely been working hard. Definitely been supporting us and, and getting down with us. Definitely good business, loyalty, the whole shit. So um, made him the third member. And right after that happened... Yeah, me and Numb got into it, you know what I mean, as far as not seeing out of our business-wise, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know a group, you being in a group, you know a group is been the hardest shit to keep <laughs> together. Yeah. Like, the hardest, and we got two. Like, yeah. imagine what Bone Thugs and the five-man group go through. It's yeah. hard. The Wu-Tang, you know, that shit is hard. So just, just us two bumping heads on the business side of the game just made us separate. Okay. You know what I mean? So now it's like, okay... You're, we're not fucking with you. You're not fucking with us. But what we supposed to do, just quit? Mm -hmm. Like, he's still a member. I'm still a member. So we still going. And okay. whatever you got going, you know, we wish him nothing but the best and God bless. And hopefully, okay. you know what I mean, um, you no know, compromise prevail. You know what I mean? We probably could get this shit back together in the future. But yes, right now, we just don't see eye to eye business, you know, so okay. business wise. And once it get, there, get past that, you know, we might, probably could do it again as a trio. But right now, it's a duo. Okay. <laughs> You know, because of Fly, man, it, I mean, he's an innocent bystander in this whole shit. You know what That's I mean? What, what me and my brother Numb going through, he ain't got nothing to do with it. And a lot of people take out slack on him, like, oh, he's doing this. And it's like, mm -hmm. it wasn't like that when Numb was here, though. Okay. You know, it's like, oh, y'all killing it. But now it's like, you know, you got people that's rooting and you got people that's not rooting. Yeah. So it is what it is. But I was a solo artist before all this. Oh, let okay. it be known. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 so, and then... Yeah, make sure they know. Yeah, at the end of the day, when Antonio Brown walked, took his jersey off and walked off that field, mm. he walked alone. Yes. Then nobody else quit. This is my brother. Yes, so indeed. I got to stand on his side and continue to keep, keep pushing that line. Yes, indeed. So but I we got nothing but love for now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Problem, well, I know man. it's been a long, long-term relationship since y'all was young. Oh, man. Right. And that's the whole thing, man. man. Friendships, <laughs> like, grow apart. Mm -hmm. Like, if y'all was in a trap since y'all was teenagers, <laughs> man, me and this nigga been rocking since junior high school. Right. Seventh grade. So Westlake? Best friends. Westlake. Yeah. yeah, Westlake Junior High. Also, uh, the, the Who Riders, Chop Black, and uh, mm -hmm. motherfucking Mr. Uh, Mr. Taylor was going right. there, too. But um, Money B was cruising by, picking us up and shit. But um, just being from that, 
every day with each mm -hmm. other, you know what I mean, to just growing apart, you know what I mean? I think the industry shit, when we blew up, the money started coming. We started getting different homeboys and different people to hang out, so we're splitting up. I got my own crew, he got his own crew, you know what I mean? But we're still a group. We're still attached at the hip. But after that, years go on, you know what I mean? Dude caught a case, you know what I mean? And um, I had to hold it down while he was in jail, like on some Pimp C, Ooh, Bun shit. B type of yeah. thing. Shout out to Bun B. But um, on that type of hype, and um, when he got out, we was back at it, you know, like Pimp yeah. and Bun was, you know what I mean? And, you know, we rocked for about five years, and then it just went bad, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. Well, we've been know? rocking for like five years like this. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> nah, it's been about three years. Four, about four years. It's gonna be twenty twenty four. It's about four years. About four years. Four years. What year is gonna be? <laughs> what? What's that? What year is gonna be? Four years, four nigga. Years, what the fuck? Anyway, right? it's, 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 yeah, it's gonna be twenty twenty four. Yeah, so that's five. <laughs> four years. <laughs> <laughs> Now, <laughs> <laughs> when next you, year it'd be five years. Yeah, it's next year. Okay. <laughs> I think y'all on the same page. Right. <laughs> By the time this interview come out, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> it's too much. This shit is over. Hey. Fuck it, five on it. He already did. <laughs> Five on it, man. Period. Five on it, man. <laughs> Shit, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But um, nah, man. I mean, it is what it, it happened with the best of the groups. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Period. It is what it is. But um, no disrespect or no um, cutting off what none brought to the table and what he um collaborated and all the history that we made and the legendary shit that we did as far as his rap shit. None was the one who coined. I got five on. It was his idea. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody wanted to make songs about smoking weed and shit. And he was like, yo, nobody ever made a song about going to get the weed or what it takes to get the weed. So he said, let's make a song called I Got Five on it. So he came with the whole concept, you know what I mean, period. Mm -hmm. um, my idea was the Club Nouveau beat. My sister right. always played, uh, Why You Treat Me So Bad. And this when Puff was running up on the remixes and shit, everybody. <laughs> Snoop and them just came, Dr. Dre and them just came with the G-Funk and shit. So everybody doing the remix is like from the old school shit or whatever they doing. So we like, what song nobody used yet? Yeah, Mike Marshall and all that. Mike Marshall. Um, Tone Capone. Tone Capone brought Mike Marshall to the table. But check this out. Tone owes some money. Co-production. If, if we would have known what, what co-production okay. was because we bought it. We bought the album. We bought the album. That right. beat wasn't playing. When we went to the studio, he didn't have that beat playing. And we said, we want that. We right. said, here's the album. We want you to remake this. Right. You dig? So right. that's what we did. And we already had the hook, too. So me and Nun, we, we come from the beating on the table, beating on the chest. That's so right. when we made our five on it, we made that shit beating on our chest. Right. We didn't even have a beat. So we in a trap. Crack house, you know what I mean? With niggas hustling and shit, beating on the table, beating on the desk and writing our shit. Mm -hmm. So when we got the tone, we had our shit written, including the hook. Right. Without a beat. <laughs> right. You feel me? Just, ah, it's going like this. You feel me? So um, Tone whipped that motherfucker. Mm. Tone whipped it out of this world, right? And I had the hook. I was just saying the hook, shouting it and shit. And um, Tone surprised us, man. He knew Mike Marshall. You know what I mean? From a Timex Social Club, a.k.a., you know, part of the Club Nouveau right. family. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, us, we doing the Club Nouveau. They had Nouveau. that record, um, uh, Rumors, right? Rumors, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. So big shout out so to Mike Marshall Andrew because <laughs> Mike Marshall brought that song to life. Yeah. Like, there was a song. It was like, okay, it's cool for Oakland, but when Mike Marshall and Tone Capone put Mike over. Marshall on that hook, mm -hmm. take me off the hook, same words, mm -hmm. same shit Mike Marshall sing, I wrote the shit. But he's singing it. Yeah. Same words, but he's singing it. Singing it instead of rapping it is yeah. totally fucking different. And with the soul of soul. Mike Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. The soul. flavor of Mike Marshall. It's a great record. Right. It's one of the blackest records ever. It's a record. It's one of the one of the most universal records ever. Right. Thank it's you. it's it's a record for the fact that you could put five on it on anything, not just weed, Facts. Is, is universal. Facts. Yeah. Um the fact that it was very lyrical, right? So they don't know that. <laughs> no, this, no, no, this, 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 this is very <laughs> lyrical. That's what that's what make it. That's why that record could get played when it comes to like when you think about real '90s hip hop and all that. Like it fits in with all the lyrical records as well. Mm -hmm. It's not just a party record. 
The they, fact that y'all was dealing with the slang, like coming up with hitting people new slang for the weed, slang from the Bay Area. That record is very powerful. Thank you, sir. Mike Marshall, salute to you, but salute the tone because he put it together. He didn't want to buy Mike Mike Marshall. We didn't know nothing about Mike Marshall. We popped up at the studio the next day and Mike Marshall was on the hook. He surprised right. us, like, check this shit out. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got creep on it and on it. Yeah. Yeah. We heard that shit. All right, who the fuck is that? Oh, I better go get see then y'all. We like, oh my god! Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and then the hook came. I was like, oh my, it's out of here. Right. So check this out. We made the shit in '93, then put it out to '95. Mm. We put that shit in the vault. Y'all knew. Mm. We knew. We had. Wasn't one. time yet. It wasn't time. We just had the album done. Right. So we got the single. Now right. started working on the album. But the plan was to put out a mixtape mm -hmm. before the album. So, okay, we got our single for the album. Mm -hmm. We know the album name, Operate Stack Ola. Now let's work on this little mm -hmm. six EP, six song yeah. EP with Tone Capone. And um, boom, put that on the side and focus on Drew Down shit because Drew Down was popping. We came through mm -hmm. up under Drew Down, Pimp of the Year. So that shit is lit. We on the Ice Cream Man. So we just riding that wave at the same year that we put that shit out, we make Ice Cream Man. Tuck it. Right. Tone Capone again. <laughs> he had the hookup at that new tribe. He knew Eric. It's all he like knew me. Eric Brooks. He knew Eric Brooks. He sent Eric Brooks our, our, our fucking uh, our, our EP that we was working on. He's like, I like them. He's like, yo, bring them through. We went to Version. Eric had new tribe at Version. They said, what you got? Play some music. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> oh, we got it. <laughs> yeah, the sound right here. Let's finish this album up. We gonna get you some yeah, right now. Put it boo, together. Boo, boo. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> they got it. Yeah. Let's finish this motherfucker up. So, what they suggested is that we make a Bay Area remix. Right. Oh, that you was their suggestion. Right. Because mm -hmm. we had Alex Mejia mm -hmm. from the radio station also working at Virgin Records, too. <laughs> and, um, shout out to Big Vaughn, too. Big Vaughn, oh, yeah. shit. He yeah. wasn't around at that time. Oh, okay. But yeah. big shout out to Vaughn, though. Yeah. But it was Alex Mejia and, and Julio G and people like okay, that from yeah. way back. Oh, um, what, what's my dude's name? Um, God damn. But anyway, <laughs> days back in the day, but, um, they suggested it because they had a radio dude working there. Mm -hmm. So when Puff and... Um, and Craig Mack and everybody did a Flavor in Your Ear remix. Yeah. With LL and yeah. everybody, that's right? That's where we got the concept from. Mm. Flavor in Your Ear. So we got to give it up to Puff, man. Puff again. Yeah, he man. That record remixes. had Bay Area legends. <laughs> Boy, Puff. Shout out to Richie Rich. Richie yeah, Rich. Yeah, Puff yeah, Down. Rich. Rest and, um, in peace, Shock. Shock G. Rest in peace, Shock G. Now, Smash, now rest in peace. Shout out to DJ Fuse, too. Rest in peace to Shock yes. G, Money B, all that. Tell me about the influence that Digital Underground had on y'all coming from the Bay, because I feel like they don't get enough props. No, huge. Yes. Huge. Like, far as the loonies, man, like, Money B, like, lived a block from Westlake. Mm -hmm. We see him drive every day in a right. Mustang with the big-ass wheels in the back, and then Shock G coming to his house. Am I lying? Okay, but well, the big ass wheel, yeah, must say the big ass wheel. Right. And Shock G had the, 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 the shaggy mobile. Like, he had the big ass super wheels on his shit. He had another, like, some fucking foreign type of shit with the big ass race tires on the back. So they both ride these big ass race tire cars. Pass a nigga, pass a nigga school, banging, slapping, hella engine high. So my cousin went to our school. So we was superly right. huge influenced by. Digital Underground movie. because they was in our face. Right. I mean, Not like just that. hearing it, but mom coming through and yeah, so Numb and Mom was hella tight since we was okay. little, since we were teenagers, Numb was linking up with Mom. We finally started getting it in and shit. And the first people that really like besides Sugar T, like from the industry that we fuck with was, I mean Richie Rich, of course. Besides Sugar T, Richie Rich, and Drew Down. The first people in the industry that accepted us was Digital, Digital Underground. Right. Okay. DJ Fuse was our DJ. Yeah. And then when DJ Fuse wasn't there, it was uh, Four Racks from the Mechanics. You know, he's also part of... My shout to Mechanics. Yeah, yeah. part of uh, Digital yeah, Underground, too. So we were sharing DJ Fuse That's and Four weird. Racks. Mm -hmm. We were sharing their fucking... Um, they stage props. So, you know, they got the big-ass hand. Yeah. So they giving us the hands for five on it. So we take... They give us the oh, stage props. They lit props. literally gave y'all a hand. <laughs> Facts. Let's get him in. But, um, <laughs> nah, man. Shot G, man. Greg, man, Greg J. Yeah, man, rest in peace, such a good dude. He, um, he loved us, man. He fucked with us. He um he believed in us. Um, he thought we were some of the dopest youngsters coming up out the bay. 
and he fucked with us, and he, he got behind us heavy, man. So salute to the whole DU, everybody. Everybody over there. brought Money a whole B, different shot. style, no different doubt. style, different age. Views, yeah. everybody. I was, man. I'm a huge fan of Digital Underground. Right now, and on the album cover, it was inf influenced by um, the Funkadelic and all that. You know, right. not just on the album cover, but in the music and everything. Yes. And I know that just the, like the cartoons and the branding and the way that the music was marketed and presented to the people. I know that you wanted to be a cartoonist or something. Yes, yes, yes. Dive so that into was a, that. And that was a big influence art. too. Yeah, Shock G was one of the first, like from the Bay, that's doing this all artwork. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Covers. You know what I mean? You had Too Short with the short dog in the house with all the dogs and shit yeah. on the cars. You had Shock. Every Disney Underground, do what you like. You know what I mean? So super influenced because people around him, the people that did the Too Short shit, went to my art school. Mm. You know what I mean? Shock didn't go to my art school. Of course, he's older. Cause, but he did all the Digital Underground's artwork. It's Shock G is definitely came from Jacob. So super, super fucking influenced. Mm. Super influenced. Like the whole shit was um, how creative Shock was because we'd be on tour with Shock and Shock would just be in the fucking lobby playing the piano. Yeah. All night. If you had shows with him, you know. Right? Yeah. After, after show, the lobby, and he has a lobby full of chicks. Right. They're all right sure. there being serenaded. And he's like, and we got to go down there by the piano, like, shock your mind, like, try to ball something, like, right. yeah, going up there with him. But he had to summon something on you. Yeah, him, like, in La La Land, like, right. shock was just so ahead of his fucking time, man. And with the artwork, with the um, the movement, with the whole parliament shit, with the nose, um, with the with the shit, he was two niggas in two one. Right, right, the, the right. Alternate personality, yeah, 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 plus yeah. him. And oh, yo, like, man, the, the whole way he put the shit, to, and then he, shit, put Pac on. Oh, facts. That's right. <laughs> put Pac on, gave Pac his first shot. That's put right. him on the road and shit. Thank you. So, yeah, man, shock, man, they did a lot in the game, man, and they, they also helped the loonies big time. Man. No so we love them, man. Rest in peace to Shock G, man, and salute to Money B, the whole DU family. We love y'all, man. Yeah. Definitely. No no you had mentioned Ice Mystic. Cream. Ice Cream Man earlier. Shout out Master P. We squashed that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm aware. I wasn't going to ask about Master P. I, was, I know what's going on. I'm, I'm up to date, at least to that part. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but it's good. I'm glad that the situation with Master P is squashed. Yeah, salute to Master but, P. But, but it is a fact that like you was early with the ice cream truck in Absolutely. the video, and then you see this in Friday. Friday. And this just becomes a cultural reference point. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, what inspired you to do that? It wasn't really us that did the, the ice cream man. Definitely to do the song since I made the song. Right. Let's take it mm -hmm. back from the beginning. Yeah, shout out to Big Worm. Yes, shout out to Big Worm. Shout out to um, Cube. Shout out to everybody. They um, got all that from Drew Dam. Shout, shout out to motherfucking um, CNH man, our executive mm -hmm. producer yeah, man. Yeah. He's the guy that came with the genius idea to come with the ice cream truck on Triple Gold Danes. Because Oakland, we had Triple Gold Danes on everything like Mustangs, Cougars, mm -hmm. Chevys. Cadillacs, like it's nigga, typhoon madness. trucks, nigga, lasers, like yeah. nigga, yeah, anything, anything, nigga, Monte Carlo. Bones we got so boom. Anything. Okay, we the ice cream man. Boom, bring out the ice cream truck with the triple gold Danes. So for the video shoot, we brought out the Coke White ice cream truck, triple gold Danes. Buying that bitch through Oakland, shooting the video. So drew down on the song, we on the song. We we bought the whole fucking city out. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't know what video bought everybody out in New York, but this one bought right. everybody right. out. Niggas right. from Frisco, Richmond, not only Oakland, everybody got their cars out. This this is going fucking bananas. It's a movement, and Master P's out there at this time. Mm -hmm. He's in Richmond. Richmond. He's right where he's at. Right. Richmond is like how Hollywood is next to. Sherman Oaks. <laughs> it's that close. Right, right, right. It's that goddamn yeah. close. You feel me? So Master P is right there. Master P got the mom and pop store. So we have to drop yeah. our albums off to his mom's yeah. and pop store What's in Richmond that? to sell Elfetel, them. Elfetel, Elfetel Plaza. You know the video is going down <laughs> on Video Jukebox. You know what the fuck is going down because everybody bought their old schools out and shit. So it's a wave. Boom. We throw the shit out on Drew Down shit and it hit. Pimp of the Year Ice Cream Man hit. And uh, shit, I say by like the end of the year, or I say, no, no, next year. I say by the next year, 94. Ice cream, man. Friday, no, no, 94. <laughs> I, Friday was out no. with Big Worm. Right. That, that hit first. Big Worm and Friday hit first. Mm -hmm. He's like, God damn. And then the whole thing is our executive producer has the perm. Mm -hmm. 
That's why they got the big worm big with the worm, perm. perm. Okay. The bay we wear Shirley's. That's why our shit was curly. Because <laughs> Drew Day on it. <laughs> I'm telling you how much shit they took from it. They took it all. They took it all. They took it all. Curly shit, everything. Drew still wearing Shirley. Shirley right. cover. Drew, my nigga man, didn't wear Shirley's. <laughs> so in our video, Ice Cream Man, our executive producer, had the Shirley's. Right. And he was driving the truck. So that's why they had Big Worm with the mm. curl and shit driving the truck, representing. But he, Big Worm fat, our nigga was skinny, right. light skinny, you know what I mean? CNA's a little pip, pimpy looking nigga, like Drew down right. pimp niggas. So, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so yeah, man, the motherfuckers took of this shit. But we're excited because we like, okay, motherfuckers is paying attention because in the Bay Area we always thought that. L.A. get all the love. Mm -hmm. They never pay attention. They never give us our love, my nigga. Like, it took... Mm -hmm. Like, even when Hammer came, they didn't want to give us our love. Like, right. they like... They didn't give a fuck about us. It was all about L.A. So, I was like, okay, they fucking with us. Right. They fucking with us. Cube. Right. And Cube is one of my favorite artists in fucking life. I'm like, right. Cube tapping in. That's we like on. Drew had to, you oh, yeah. I, I remember the scene. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. 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 Big perm, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Come out the napkin. So once oh, we knew yeah. that Cube and them was fucking, <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. yeah. <laughs> them the boys won. right there. Right. Like, that's won. when the, that's how like fresh out the road. Yeah, yeah, fresh out the road. Yeah. That's like you know what I mean. Shirley, yeah, the high yeah, them Shirley's for the girlies, man. <laughs> Shirley's for the girlies. So then P came with the shit after we dropped the '95. That's why we thought it was disrespectful because we thought people it's was getting us mixed up with man. Master P. Because this is when we coming off triple platinum, mm -hmm. five on it goes triple platinum. The album goes gold. So then he drops the next right. year. Now everybody know us, like we the ice cream man, but it's when niggas image was now. You just hear the music. So it's not, niggas didn't know how P look, niggas didn't know how the loonies look back then. You could put some music out, niggas that think it's you. Mm -hmm. This because it's the same title. So, so, so we think that, I mean, we was mad because not only did he bite it, but he dropped it right after we dropped our album. So it mm -hmm. rolled the wave of a triple platinum fan base, wait for something else, and then boom, ice cream, man. That's them. Oh, it's not, but we like the song. They, you know right. what I mean? That, By the time they <laughs> fell for the banana and the tailpipe, <laughs> nigga, it's too late. We, it's too late. It's the ice cream, cream man. man. It's the ice cream, 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 man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We sweet the girl, man. I <laughs> That's how the nigga was looking. Know. That's the same nigga that sung the hook. Oh my girl. I think it's That's the same it. nigga that sung the hook. It's the ice cream, man. I don't know if it was, but he looked uh, like the cleaner man. Yeah, it's kind of it. Damn, man. Damn, them anyway, might be. We got to look that up. We have to do our Googles on that one. He yeah, came with it, and then I'm going to ask you. I'm cleaner, man. Slow down, Tarbo. Check it out. I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm going to use that one. I'm sorry. I know niggas take bear and slang all the time. Slow down, Turbo. I'm taking that one. So check this out, right? You know from back in the day, this shit right now is carbon copy. You can like put a pace in and put it out because everybody's copying each other. Right. Tali, when we was coming out in the golden era, the 70s, the 80s, and the fucking 90s, and the early 2000s, can you rap or sound like somebody or even use a, like, even the same photo as a nigga? Oh, no, no, no nobody no, in the no. lab. No, no song titles. None of that. No, no rice, no champagne, champagne no, no nothing. nothing. <laughs> right? You can't get nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> right? Nothing. Bro, nothing. nigga was mad at guys. You right. had the nigga like, yo, they biting the, they biting the son. They was mad nothing. at Biggie. They was mad at yeah. Biggie. Said, "Yo, son, bit eyes cover." Oh, yeah. It was the Wu Tang saying that shit. Like, <laughs> the Wu Tang was mad at Biggie right. for right. biting eyes cover. Right. Right. Son, they bit eyes yeah. right. cover. Right. Right. Like, this man's not am lying. I lying. No, right. he's not lying. You couldn't do that. You couldn't do it. That right. was a violation. So when P did it, uh -huh. it was a violation. He felt the way. Right. We own this helmet. Yeah. Right. We nigga missiles. What that shit called in Israel? <laughs> the, the shield? Yeah, yeah. What that shit called? The shield? Sure. The golden dome? Yeah. The silver dome? Whatever that shit? What they, yeah, we had that. We shot it all. Okay, so, <laughs> so we gonna talk about Israel and Palestine know. now. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You like your channel, don't you? That, that's you like your podcast? You wanna keep your podcast? No, that's how Let's we just, shot all this. No, 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 no. The People Irish dome. We shot People all of them goddamn misses at Master Chief. People's party. <laughs> We shot all the best. Yeah. Fuck that. We're not doing that. <laughs> not I ain't do saying, hey. Don't do shout that. Shout out to the Incredibles. Yes. But y'all solved that. 
Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Incredibles. You can't talk yeah. about the Incredibles. Don't do the that. The Incredibles? The Incredibles. You, you ain't heard them? 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 The Incredibles. Don't you do it. You better that. hush your mouth. People's Slow party. Down, Turbo. <laughs> Slow down, Turbo. Slow down, Turbo. Slow down, Turbo. Slow down, Turbo. Slow the fuck Don't down. Don't do it. Well, thank, thank you for being so concerned about the future of this show. I appreciate it. I that. loved it. I appreciate that. Don't do that. Um, let's do <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do it. No, nah, but it was it was a violation of bite back then. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason yeah. why we beef with Master P just on retaliation. Yeah. It wasn't really no like we had street beef, like, right? You know what I mean? Like hip hop that. shit. Yeah, hip -hop just hip hop shit. lyrical, lyrical shit. I love it. Couldn't dress you know? anyway. So. I love it. Now the Bay Area. Famous in hip hop and famous in the world. Shout P though, we squashed it. Oh yeah. For everybody yeah. else, B and P squashed it. The loonies and P are all good. Yeah, we're having a good time here. History, yeah. this history, you tell them history. Back no, history. Yeah, don't history do Channel. That. <laughs> Discovery. Fifty history. years of hip hop. Yeah. History. Channel. Fifty years of hip hop. Yeah, yes. that's right. Niggas, right back. You take your back. Fifty yeah. plus. We cool mm -hmm. P. In hip hop. I eat raps next. <laughs> Rap snacks. Now I want to say, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's go. Oakland, Bay Area. Mm hmm. Down business. There's a pimp player hustler culture that's prevalent. We just showed you the, the Shirley's. Two day on Shirley's. That's why we don't. Let them finish. No, break it down. Break it down. I just that was, was going to say that's why we don't fit in today because when I see a brother buy a $50,000 handbag and just hand it over for a piece of you, feel me? I <laughs> I just sweat and I get anxiety <laughs> and it stresses me all the way out. I went to Atlanta for the first time years ago and then brush said, let me get 30. I'm not paying no attention. I'm rolling up some weed over uh -huh. there. Next thing I know, a cart come out with 30,000 ones. Uh -huh. I'm like, what are we finna do with this? This so we're finna throw it out. I said, on oh, who? They said, the women. I said, I'm finna leave. <laughs> I, I'm not raised from this. I don't come from this. I don't know what the fuck part of the game is this. I, if y'all wasn't my friends, I would do, you know, this doesn't make sense. We're just gonna give it to them. We're just gonna give it I'm to so them. Grimy. I'm so grimy. I'm like, so grimy. Fuck with Stop Big Misha dude. <laughs> Big Misha dude, we in Miami with Misha. We at the, at the, at the Source Awards, right? Uh -huh. We at the club at the, at the, with Blue and Meech and shit. Right. They, you know, they the first ones with the fucking uh, for, uh, the, the Phantoms. Remember when the Phantom first came out? Meech yeah, yeah, had yeah. the silver one. They was oh, doing it big in Miami. Miami. So boom. We uh, come out. Come out the motherfucking Phantom with the hockey. Not a duffel bag. A hockey, hockey bag. bag. 300 large in the hockey bag, right? All one. This all whatever they couldn't count. And they, mm -hmm. done, boom. I'm talking about, bro, I'm from the Fuck. projects, my nigga. I do. You know how many times I wanted to just pull my foot out and just stuff, stuff some stuff shit like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even go my leg up and start this <laughs> Go outside and wait, like, for the bag to come out, like, and stub a soft housing right quick. Ah, I don't, I don't, that's so it's hard. Then right. I was like, I'll be a bum nigga if I do that around here yeah, today. So I can't do that, but you know how I, I was <laughs> tempted. I was ready to say, hey, girl, just like, dance right there. <laughs> because, look, let me, let me finish, let me finish. How did you see this rug? Mm -hmm. You can see nothing but money. The rug mm -hmm. was all money. I'm talking about... Thick, like two inches, like like snow, like you kicking like you, shit. Like, like they you swimming kicking, in it. Like you kicking leaves. Yeah. When it, like when it falls, you kicking leaves yeah, in you your front yard. Like a leaf blower. You need a fucking it. rake. <laughs> You're walking through like shovels of motherfucking right. money. You're like, bruh, if I don't just dip something dip in my side. Something. Because they throwing out hundred bills, hundred dollar bills and shit too. Oh, it ain't just see. ones. It does. It's fifties, it's fives, it's twenty. So yeah, it's we all, we ain't used to all that uh, simping it's shit. All, it's, it's, it's bad. We ain't used to simping, my nigga. But I did. salute the niggas that got it. Hey, if you got it, that's what you, you got. It, I'm not, not. I just nah, this, uh, like you, you, said, you just said you said you get anxiety. That's you said it's not you know stress me out. Regardless, yeah. like, you know the Mac was made in Oakland. Yes, right. I do. Let, let's take right. it back to let's that. Let's take it all the way back. Let's take it back to the pimp player hustleism about it, man. Right. We're gonna take it way back, man. Cocaine also came there. I mean, the crack also came mm -hmm. there first, too. Yep. You know what I mean? So we also got the little spill, the drugs, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And we got the ism. You know, some of the illest motherfucking rock and roll and, and, and hippie groups came out of there. We got That's the Grateful right. Dead. Grateful we got Dead, all right. the, the shit where they doing yeah. acids and shit. Hate Asbury, all, all that type of shit. All the shit, right? Berkeley, all that shit. All that shit. People's Park, all the shit, right? Mm -hmm. So, boom. 
Nigga, the Mac came out and turned the Bay Area out. Mm -hmm. It's like when Scarface came out. Right. Scarface came out and turned everybody. Yeah. Everybody wanted to be the fucking yeah, cocaine yeah, yeah. dealer. Yeah. The Mac came out, everybody was pimping yeah. in Oakland. As far as my, my niggas that everybody. were older than me. And right. I don't know what my dad and them was doing, if they was doing it before, which I think they were doing it before. Because the movie was made off of the OGs. Mm -hmm. Right. I know about your, your dad is, is, has right. a history. Yeah, my dad right. definitely a BGF, definitely. But oh. And used to be out there wiggling, had a couple things out there. But um, <laughs> Thank you. Big time. Oh, yeah, he was yeah. With, uh, rocking with Pablo Escobar, too. Mm -hmm. Shout out to, uh, rest in peace to Pablo. But um, anyway, niggas was doing it in the 70s because it was about leisure. It was about drugs, the disco shit, drugs mm -hmm. and women. So dudes figured out ways to just, you know, send the women to make money yeah, off yeah, of shit. And it became a business, you know what I mean? To where the women, you know what I mean? A lot of women looked up to these dudes, you know, because mm -hmm. you running through the streets with the Rolls Royces, the Cadillacs, the fur coats, the mink coats. You got the jewelry, the diamonds. You got the big penthouse apartments and shit on the <laughs> lake. You got the house in the hills and shit. So girls, like, what are girls attracted to? Money, right? Yeah. Men are so, attracted to money, too. Men are attracted to girls. <laughs> The bottom line we is money. We ain't attracted <laughs> to money. The bottom, we you, make wait, money. Wait, you girls you, is attracted to a lot of money. I know y'all do y'all research. Y'all watching this you young cats. Oh, watch a lot the of Mac. you young cats can pimp bitches yeah. right now. Just watch the, the money. Stop giving them the money. <laughs> Stop doing it. it. Pussy is not power. It's not. The dick is the power. You know why? Because <laughs> everything is based off of a man. Basketball wives, excuse Thank me, you. brother. Oh, sorry. Mike Basketball oh, wives. Uh, Atlanta housewives. Mm -hmm. uh, what love and hip hop? Everything is based off of a man. A lot of the women that we know is famous. We know them because of the famous men that they were with. I would argue that that's a specific type of women huh. that be with a specific mm -hmm. type of dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But there's others out there. There are, but how do we know a lot of them? I think that's the, the, about your I circle. think a pimp nigga put Marilyn Monroe with J.F. Kennedy. <laughs> See? This I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, that's what I'm talking I wouldn't about. argue against that. That, that was some ism. He like, he sick that bitch it's, on her. Like, bitch, if Because if she was out here in Hollywood, do she it. had some ism on her. Facts. Yeah, nigga, hey, man, if you don't get up on that, man, we in the White House, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I doubt we... Marilyn Rose, she was under some ism. You don't think so? <laughs> I don't I know. I think Bishop Don Juan knew Marilyn Monroe in her heyday. Wayne fucked it up with the line. I think she was up under church. <laughs> if it ain't, it ain't tricking if you got it. Right. When he said that... That was permission. <laughs> fucked it up for everybody. It was permission to trick if you got it. Niggas was like, well, I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> why am I why am I wasting time? <laughs> Here. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Bring your friends. <laughs> yeah. Here's the bag. I think I think it's the same thing you were talking about earlier. It's, just, it's personal decision, right? If you if you choose to live that lifestyle, you choose to live like that lifestyle. If you choose time is money, right? Just, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay if what if spent a few dollars. What if? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hold on. What if? Okay. Any, any, all the males in here are females. Wait, I'm speaking hypothetically. No. no <laughs> wait, wait, but I feel where you're coming from. It's okay. We're not knocking it. Check this out. This way, like, wait, you know how many times I done just. Nigga, <laughs> Paris, Rome. Yeah. What if you. What if you. <laughs> what if you're a boss? You are a boss. So uh -huh. this imagine your status. Yes. Right? Yes. And a young lady uh -huh. that's doing OnlyFans. Uh -huh. She loves you. Like she, uh -huh. she loves your your, your bath water. <laughs> she loves your bath water, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She do anything for you. She's just like out of the world. And she just say, hey, Talib, I got 50000 for you. Uh -huh. Just uh manage me and I'm just gonna keep on giving you money. Just Manage me and just keep me cool, protect uh -huh. me, but I'm going to keep on giving you this 50 like every month. Uh -huh. 50, 50, 50. It's coming. Uh -huh. And all you got to do is like make sure her rent paid and uh -huh. make sure her bills is paid because she don't, the airheads, they really don't know how to do that. <laughs> they don't know how to get an apartment. <laughs> right, they don't right, know right. how to get to here. So that's the whole where the pimping come in. It's the management, nigga. That, that's the protection. Listen, Protection, security, I don't, everything. I don't, I don't pimp shame. I don't hold shame. You don't, you I don't shame. Come on, some each his own. You don't trick shame. To each his own. Trick shame. So I don't. You, I don't even trick shame. Would you accept it? <laughs> I don't even trick shame. Would you accept it if she dropping fifty a that's, month? 
That's not in your pocket from OnlyFans. <laughs> and, and you're like, you know what? what? I don't. She'd have to. You know what? Give it to me. Nah, she'd 50. have to be making an album. I'm a album. 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 I don't but judge, but, but that's not me. You're a great man. man. That's not your family get away from He's you. He's like, whose daughter you. is this? I got to give her back to her father. Like, <laughs> it's your conscience. Whose daughter is this? It's your conscience. Your conscience. <laughs> I, am I conscious? It'll be your conscience. <laughs> yes. It's so Okay. So You know the not, music he make? He make I know, but the the way I'm Listen, this thing, this thing, this thing, listen. There's things that I pimp. There's things that I pimp. Rock your body. There's things that I pimp. The game, but not a girl. That's right. I don't pimp women now. For women, I will say, I will say, I will say that, look, listen, consent is everything. If a woman wants to be doing that, it, it wants she should have every money. right to do that. Right. You not got to take the bread. But that's not for me to be. You're not got to take the money. No, I'm, I'm not take, taking that money. I'm, I'm taking the money. money. I'm not taking that money. I'm taking the money. <laughs> what a wife. Hey. I'm not taking What a <laughs> wife. Hey. Listen. Hey, baby, she just dropped 50 off. Wait, what you yeah, thought? Hey, grab it. Yeah, grab it. <laughs> what a wife. Where what are we you going? Talking about? Business what business. a wife. And we should bring it another 50. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go beat her? Why did you go beat her? Go grab that money. <laughs> Where's she bringing another 50? Shit, because hey, I've seen this she new thing. make a dream work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen this new thing. We're going to make this shit yeah. happen. Shit. Hey. So, like I said, so like. Like I said, so, so the Bay Area is on some pimp shit. No, right, real quick. Real, 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 real quick. Big time. Real quick. Real quick to break it down on that. Years ago, I went to Houston. My cousin mm -hmm. never met him. First time meeting, we landed. Mm -hmm. We get out there. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. You got to do with the yeah. legends and shit. You, so, you talking about cousins like, and shit. Yeah, he like, yeah, we finna go out. He like, cousin, you know, and then we gonna go, go out to the bar, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some hoes and buy y'all some pussy. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't buy a pussy, cuz, you know, we right. from the Bay. We don't, Wild you know what I'm saying? Indeed. We play, you know, woo, woo, woo. He like, what you mean? I'm like, bro, we don't trick. That's tricking. And he kind of took offense to it. Right. He like, well, shit, cuz, what you do when you fuck with bitches out there? I said, man, he said, you smoke a little weed with him, right? I said, yeah. He said, you might have a little drink or something, right? And I said, yeah. He said, you might even get some food or something, right? I said, yeah. He said, and do every time you get the pussy? I say, no. <laughs> he said, well, well, nigga, he said, you wasting all that time. I'm going to go put a little $200 over here, and I'm going to go home. You going to go home and drive $200 that's, to hell. That's an efficient transactional relationship that I have respect for. There you go. And that's what I was talking about. I'm, I, I understand it logically. You do. I'm just not on that type of time. <laughs> Nobody is. That's a fucking headache. Nobody is. <laughs> I understand the logic behind it. I really do. I don't. I'm, I, I really do understand. So the you, logic so you would rather do the date thing or the the other? Thing? Oh, I would much rather do the date thing. Okay, but well, look, I, I, but I, because I enjoy it. Do you want the challenge of trying? To, I do up. want. I want See? the challenge. Yeah, like, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I like then, that. Both of you. <laughs> you talking about you don't trick, uh -huh. and you talking about you don't pimp. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. I'm going to say this. Give it to me. <laughs> A pimp is getting money from you, and you simping. Explain. Oh, explain. Both y'all niggas out of pocket. <laughs> out of pocket? Because you, you said that you, I, I have, you ain't spending no money. But, but how, hold up. Uh -huh. The real girl in. I have to dinner, see. movies, bowling, nigga, <laughs> hell of shit, and then all that. See, see no, the dinner, system, hold on, no, 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 lunch, no, no, brunch, but I gotta do that. No, Uber, any, any I'm girl, doing any that. girl that I'm weed, with, any girl that I'm with, coke, <laughs> with girls off coke, oh, girls do oh, cocaine. Oh, let me land, let me land. Girls do hella cocaine. Uh -huh. Hella. I don't do coke. Girls I don't do hang out with coke. Coke, coke women. Nigga, how not? And you how don't you know. I, I, I know. I Over mean, the years, you do not know. I, I know. All I, the I know some a couple some on good. cocaine. <laughs> so imagine your coke budget alone. <laughs> Wait, I need a coke, coke. budget now? Yeah, well, you gotta buy you it. Gotta get a you gotta listen, buy listen. it. Any, any women that I spend time with, <laughs> She, she, I never did it. She but wants to. She wants to be there regardless. Okay, but I'm of what we do. Too. Everything else is just. Act my, my whole shit is. You're I'm gonna go to Mr. Counters? Chow's anyway. I, right, I'm gonna be there eating at Mr. Chow's I'm anyway. But you bought another refund. 
Because like, your child I, is hard. I, it's I, like, I'm going to spend the money to get him. Send that child a cart so he could play that. Like, I bought my own house cart. And then share with nobody. So you spend that share with nobody. I didn't share mine. I just bought it. Even though she took a motherfucking sauteed chicken out of my thing. I pay, two sauteed chicken, two chicken sauteed, with the sauce, <laughs> I, I tried, <laughs> with the sauce, yeah. took the last of the, the, the yeah. sauce of the, the sauteed, sauce. Yeah. Yeah, with the sauteed. Right. Listen, but, I'm going to eat that regardless, and I like good company, so I'm paying for the company of just the company. But I'm spending you know the money what in What's the first word you say? You're, you're paying. Oh, I'm paying. Wait, see, so look. I, but I know what I'm paying for. No. I'm not, I'm not under an illusion of what I'm paying for. But I'm not still paying for pussy. No, no, no. You I'm just didn't pay for it. Hold on. Because I, the pussy, I could get the pussy if I if I skip to Mr. Charles and I say, let's go to the crib. I don't gotta pay for that. But I'm I'm paying for the company. You do. <laughs> no, you do. That, I ain't talking about a groupie. I'm talking about a baddie. You do. But listen, I'm talking about a baddie. I don't, that's all, that's all I know. The money, the I'm own, spending, that's own all I know. business. And she, hold on. She just walked up and said, ha. You didn't have, did have to go to Noble. Yes, the water. that's what I'm telling you about my okay. life. So because you're <laughs> So you're spending you're money. Name. What'd you say? Because of your name. No, 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 no. How you spending fucking money for some pussy? <laughs> I don't give a fuck what y'all <laughs> saying, <laughs> man. Y'all niggas over here sugarcoat shit. No, but I'm telling nigga, you. if you go to the movies no. and you fuck after, you spend some money. No, 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 I disagree with that. If you go to Mr. Child, no, I like you the fuck movies. after. No, you spend I like the money. Movies. I'm going pussy. to the movies to go to the I movies. I do win if you pay for a I'm hotel room time. and then take it <laughs> to your house. You pay for some pussy. That's worth it to me. The pussy is just gravy. If you go to a purse in the morning after you fuck, you pay for some pussy. <laughs> Listen, you got to do a lot for a purse around these parts. My whole thing. If you bought her some glasses, it can't just be pussy. You bought her some Michael Kors. No, no, no. <laughs> you bought a Michael Kors purse. I'm throwing money out. I'm trying to get money back. You, you know what I'm saying? You bought her a Michael Kors purse. You, you still spending some money. Mark, Mark by Jacob. <laughs> Mark by Mark Jacob. <laughs> Michael Kors, whatever that shit called. <laughs> no, that's the starter Mark, kit. Mark that's where you get the bitches to start a kit, the Michael Kors. The Michael Mark, Kors Mark, with yeah. the Michael Kors watch? Oh, oh, oh shit, that's a, oh, what you know about the watch? See, I told Look, you he's he been triggered. He got the watch. He got the matching watch. Listen, I just know shit. I just know shit. How you know about the watch? I pay attention. Nobody is. As soon as we start talking about it, he got to leave. He's like, well, I don't have no problem with it. I don't have a problem against it or... If don't you're on this side of the fence or that side of the fence. He just told me, you know what he's telling me? He's telling me that I'm all lives matter and pimping. <laughs> yeah. you, don't, you don't give a shit. Oh, my God. You're doing it one way or another. All right, so we're going to pivot from mm -hmm. pimping. We're going to talk about the record. That's what they do, they narrow it. We're going to talk about the record. Plead guilty. This boy oh, yes. Neo. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. Because yes. we're going to show all sides yes. of the loonies. Yes. Where Not just doing? the pimp side. Let's show all the sides. But also the side where... Allegedly. In this record... Allegedly. <laughs> In this record, plead guilty, you put in a system on trial. Mm, right. That was a good song. It's very good. Very ah! <laughs> I heard I caught that. It's a very well, good, it's a very good uh lyrical device. Yes. Shout and out Numb. Numb gassed that motherfucker. He yeah, did. Was, yeah, he did. That was one of his best verses out he did. ever. Yeah. And like you said, he'd been to jail. You know, you was you did some time. Mm -hmm. and, you know, do you speak about your experiences in so, Juvie? Yeah, it was basically our experiences in Juvie, basically, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then the whole thing is that our shit started in Juvie, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's where a nigga just developed the whole loonies, developed the whole shit, it started in camp. So um, my case was basically um, some shit to where I could have went home. Right. But my grandma told him to keep me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I was a bad... My grandma was filled with the Holy Ghost, go to church every day of the week besides Saturday. <laughs> and I got dope stashed in the house, a gun, all types of shit. So once she found the shit, you know what I mean? She told him to keep me. So I wasn't even supposed to be there. They said keep me for a year to my birthday. You know what I mean? So I wasn't even supposed to be there, period. Mm -hmm. Like the charge I got, I was supposed to do three days and be gone. <clears throat> you know I'm at? Something similar like that to where he had a little fake-ass case. And you know what I mean? He had to do some time and shit, so... You know, just the system, you know what I mean? Just fucking us over, like, just, you know what I mean? It's a and, and, prison pipeline. Yeah, and it's the pipeline. The pipeline, the whole shit is mm -hmm. like, they set you up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like prelim. It's <laughs> like prelim, you're warming up Every for basketball, day. then you go. It's like, okay, 
School is the prelim. Like it, School is prison, my nigga. Pre prison. You're right. Pre prison. You go to the like same the cafeteria. You, you, go, you, you, you got to line same. up. You got to go to the cafeteria. Yeah. You got to go to these rooms, the these bell, classes for a certain moves, amount of yeah. hours. You could go outside for you have recess play, for recess. an hour, come back like, in. Yeah. It's right. the same shit. So it's pre setting you up for jail. Right. Mm -hmm. The whole shit. So we set up with the shit doing high school and junior high school and elementary. Look, Period. The then when the we same. get in that motherfucker and we see what it is, it's like, this is the same shit. shit. Even the food it's like comes the on train, the same the train, 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 the same food. The same little form. It's, it's the oh same my shit. God, it's the same, same shit. Look, the Except same you thing. got bars. Then right. you got uniforms with it. Right. So they pre-programming you, you for this shit. To be fucking To be a worker class or to go to jail. jail. Either way. Period. So that's what we is mainly about on the song, Plead Guilty. Why should I plead guilty? And you motherfuckers made the people that you're arresting. Mm -hmm. You know, you put crack in our neighborhood. You put the guns in our neighborhood. You know, you put um, the poverty, the struggle in our neighborhood to where people had no choice but to do wrong things. You right, know what I mean? Right. To, to, to survive. Wow. So you put us in on predicaments and shit, put people back against the wall. So why should I plead guilty? And the government bought in the guns. The government bought in the drugs. Right. You know what I mean? Like, we don't got no planes and shit. We can't go to Colombia. We suck in these projects. That's right. You know, we don't got no motherfucking planes coming from Russia that got these uh, AK, uh, Klisikovs and shit mm -hmm. like that. But they were flat dead in our neighborhood. We had right. revolvers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nigga, they came with Glocks, automatics, okay, and AKs, <laughs> and Uzis, and good where shit. we get that from? Right. They bought that shit there, and I'm from the projects. They'll just have a motherfucking uh, train. A train, because we right on the train shit. Like, our shit is right behind the train road, so you can have a train stop, the whole shit. Open it, Leave guns, it. the whole shit. They have a, a fucking diesel. Open it, guns, everything. So, this is when you hear niggas have grenades in the hood. Mm. Like, how the I fuck you got a grenade in the hood, my nigga? Mess. Like, yeah, All like, real talk. Shit. Like, this is when a nigga got a grenade in the hood. Like, well, who? The fuck doing this? How you get that? Right. We didn't bring it in, so that's what the whole, why you plead guilty, man. Um... Another Tone Capone track. Shout out to Tone. Tone, Tone gas yeah. shit all the time. And me and Nun wrote that shit on the spot at Tone Studio in Berkeley. It came right out, huh? Came right out. That's how we do all our shit. We yeah. write on the spot. We don't pre-write or none of that shit. I mean, we pre-write that ice cream, man, because we, yeah. Right. But everything else is on the spot. That's how we taught how to write. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Rest in peace to Tupac. All right, Definitely Tupac. represent Bay Area and West Coast to the fullest. And you... Uh, Tributed him on Why Do Thugs Die? Yes, that was a, that's how we met Tech Nine. It's a great record. <laughs> yes, man. Salute um, to uh, QD Three. Yeah, man. Quincy Jones the Third, man. Yeah. He he produced that track. We did that at um, his crib, and we did that on the strength of the, the relationship of Tupac with with Dizzy Underground. Yes, you know what I mean. So we did that as a song. You know what I mean. Just knowing what they was going through during the situation and shit like that. We really didn't have no close relationship mm. with Pac. Pac was a big homie. You met him a couple times, but mm -hmm. shocking them, they was homies. Yeah. We didn't have Pac on speed dial where we could beep him because right. back in the day, it was the pagers. Right. So, but he did mention y'all when he was talking about One Nation. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all was on his radar, and he was trying to put the East Coast and the West Coast thing together, yeah. and y'all made a record called One Nation, right? Yeah, Numb was actually on it. Numb and Drew Down got on it. Numb got on okay. Pac shit twice. Numb was on all... I mean, uh, Drew was on All Eyes on Me, and he was on One Nation, but Numb got on that bitch, too. I was locked up in jail, L.A. Okay. County, so I missed the studio session and shit. But one of the sessions, I did get up in there, me and Pop kind of bump heads on some weed shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to leave it. We leave it. We cocky. Yeah. Like, you can't just say, nigga, I ain't the weed man, and just expect me just going to be chilling in the studio, <laughs> nigga. I, I wiggled off and went to the back, the Snoop and them studio. They had hella weed on the table, and it, it was more friendly. Right. <laughs> so I, I don't hit this dude. I got a gangsta ass session. Like, I felt like I had a, I need a gun in that motherfucker. I had a knife or a gun. Nigga, it was ruthless in there. I was like, let me go to Snoop shit. Nigga, smiling. Nigga, smoke a weed. Gas. Nigga, listen, this be this smooth in there. I'm like, let me go chill with Snoop in there. <laughs> so I didn't get on the album right. when I had a chance. Yeah, I had a shit. Pac had the thugs in this yeah. shit. Them, they, everybody was tripping, nigga. Outlaws. I'm like, I can't do it. But Numb got on that bitch. And um and fucking Drew down got on it, so I missed the session. But the session I did go to, I wiggled out the Snoop room. Mm. Yeah, I felt disrespected. <laughs> <laughs> how did you feel when you first heard Jordan Peele and how he used and broke down five on it in that movie Us? 
Yo, that was fucking like mind boggling because that was phenomenal. Nun was the first one to discover the shit. You too. Yeah. You and Nun. Yeah. yeah, I was at home like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, but watching that watch movie, it, right? Boy, so you, you, when you when you, you saw it, in I the was movie. watching basketball or something, and the commercial came on. Okay. The preview, and I called him like, what? Nun showed me the shit a year before it came out. The before commercial it came out. I called you when I heard yeah. it. I didn't know he showed it to me. I was at home watching the game. And that shit came on, and I was like, nigga, boy, he like, what? No, I'm showing me the commercial I when they ride. I, I didn't know. They showing it? You said something like it's on. Yeah, that's like why he, I didn't know. He didn't know they started they advertising They started advertising it. it, but we seen it by yeah. like a year prior. I wanted, not even a year, probably like six or seven months prior yeah. to, to where it came out. That shit came on. During, but Numb had that shit. Numb, we was, we was on tour somewhere. Numb was, was in the backseat riding in the van. I was like, check it out. They use our shit. And it said uh, motion picture, all this shit, all mm -hmm. the little shit that they had when they mm -hmm. pre-put it out and they got all the little stamps and shit, uh, Paramount or whatever the shit was. I'm like, when this shit coming out? He's like, bro, they got it, man. I don't know when, but this shit is about to come out. I'm like, all right, you months, months go that, by, bro. months. We ain't even thinking about the shit then. Boom. Whoop, whoop. The shit the hit the television yeah. like... It was it was uh, Super Bowl. It was Super one of Bowl weekend. One of the it was Super Bowl they, fucking weekend, bro. You know and the shit the came whole, in the Super Bowl commercials. They do the whole. It was Super Bowl weekend. Whatever it was, how it they was do the Super whole. Bowl. Well, we're gonna take you to, and they showed the yeah. whole like trailer. Yeah. Like during the, and they showed the whole shit. That's why I, that shit tripped me out. I, I, mean, I, I, knew I don't know if it was, it was I swear it was playoffs. a big ass it event. Like it was like the playoffs or something. It was basketball season. It was basketball. It, it was, was basketball. Because it came out football season. Right. It came it out like basketball. in February. It was, was basketball season. Game. I was high and I it called was, this it was nigga the playoffs. like, bro, <laughs> what the fuck? The no. They played it on the playoffs. It yeah, was the playoffs. Yeah. They be doing yeah. the thing. They're like, we're going to show Jordan Peele has new in there. And then they show the whole minute in like a half. They didn't show... And I'm like, nigga. Yeah, seen this shit I on called the playoffs this nigga. I'm like, bro, I know it's a rap now, bro. And yeah, after yeah. that, shit, we got invited to the screenings. The premiere, you know what I mean? The bro. one he did in LA, the one he did in the Frisco and shit, the Bay Area and shit, all the screenings we invited to. Plaques, sent us plaques yeah. with the scissors and shit, everything from the movie. Um, thank you notes and shit, you know what I mean? But the main thing that you want to get at is how did we feel about when he made the beat creepy? Yeah. That shit was mind blowing that because I didn't know the beat was creepy. Mm. I never yeah. heard it like that. Right. Right. I'm not a nigga from Houston that thinks about everything slowing down. Right. right. You know, I was, yeah, yeah. You know, I was that boy, to rap a lot. He tapped in the DJ school, right? Shop yeah. and screw yeah. everything yeah. I hear, yeah. nigga. I like yeah. shit to be regular. Yeah. So they chopped and screwed that shit that to sound shit like, hard. and they slowed that bitch down and made it ruthless. And even the way he Ruthless. they did in the preview, how they played it regular, and the kids was like, they're like, you don't know nothing about this song. Yeah. He was like, and he did it, did it, just did, and it switched yeah, in the preview. That was wild. Yeah. That right. was wild. I like how he broke it down. That's a whole devious another level of you can even like approach the beat. Like it was right. fucking different and creepy. I never thought five on to be a creepy ass beat, beat, but he made it creepy. He made the shit sound like. What was the music that Friday the Thirteenth had? Like every time you are Jason or yeah, somebody when they <laughs> that's ding, exactly ding, it. Ding, ding. Yeah. Like you hear like some yeah, bells that's and what shit. Did. Like nigga, yeah. Freddy, you hear some bells. Yeah. And Freddy, you know a nigga ding, finna ding, die. Ding, ding, ding. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. so yeah, he made that shit creepy, man. So salute to Jordan Peele, man. Um, huge opportunity, man. Salute to the whole us, um, motion picture, man. That shit just leveled us all the way up, man. So big shout out to Jordan Peele, man. Um. Thank and you, coming off of that, get out, big yeah, ass, yeah, yeah, coming yeah. out, yeah. Then that was the second movie after that, like yeah. back to back with bombs, like, and the right. double gangs, the do yeah, that, yeah. The, Hold uh, on, man, why the nigga, <laughs> the, the nigga, uh, what he uh, say that about uh, Marco? <laughs> why Mar funny Marco? Funny Marco. Said? <laughs> Say, Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart had a double, double game. game. You didn't see that? Nah. One? You didn't see that? Yeah. Nah. And then and Kevin, then Kevin said, says, "You do too," and he was like, "I do." He was like, he "Who?" Like, he said. Seal. He <laughs> 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 told Funny Marco he look like Seal, nigga. Hey, Cause you Ouch. know it's skin. You know. Ouch! <laughs> that hurt. That's, that yeah. hurt, my nigga. Yeah. Funny Marco looked like he wanted to cry, like he had yeah, to water the eyes. Man, <laughs> 
I'm yeah, the old that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The kid had to give him a deal after that. You know what? I'm gonna take you on tour, little man. Water, nigga. Take you on tour, little man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you tough, See little him. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas cry every day, b. <laughs> Uh, well, listen. I thank y'all for your time. Shout out to the Doppelganger. Man, thank you. This has man. been wonderful. I got another. This I got. Can go I got. Forever, man. We can go. Yeah, we you gotta go cool. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we come hang out with you, man. We go. We gonna do it at your house. Yeah, my my crib. Yeah, I'm coming yeah. over there. Yeah, you you invited. I'm gonna bring some bitches too. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they consent. As long as they consent. Oh, he's the music. Oh, yeah. He's the you music, nigga. Sing. You want to oh, manage, man. bro. <laughs> you you want to... Yeah. 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 Can you yeah. sing with your clothes on? <laughs> That's the oldest yeah. trick of the book when the rap niggas and the producers try to get a chick. Yeah. Hey, you can sing. I'm you a producer. Sing. I'm going to put you out. <laughs> you should hear the bitch that Big yeah. Mill putting out. Don't, don't start. Don't start. Don't do nah, that. No, nigga, because you just played it for me. I did. It's but another I, one of them, my nigga. Yeah. Like, me, you... I don't know yeah, what Big Mill Shout out Big Mill. Hey, what he doing, man? He... Look, look, wait, 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 look. Yeah. He put money into the bag so the bag can come back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that... it's a, it, you got you to gotta take him out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you want to... <laughs> Was that trigger or pivot? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> See, now we're getting into the weeds. Now we're getting into the weeds. Now we're getting into the weeds. We came here late. Let's but that's let it be known. The driver was fucking... They don't know, they don't know what late... The, the they driver... Don't know what, whenever they watch the fucking driver... We was on time. The Hold on, we came, the, 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 we came for the Grammy rehearsals, man. God damn it. We wasn't just hanging out on the block rolling dice. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, we came for the Grammy rehearsals. So did you. So did you. So salute to us. You know, 50 Years of Hip Hop. Can we end it on that? Like, what do we think about 50 Years of Hip Hop? I think it's good to see the legends and the legacy groups get money, and it's good to see how the power of the people who really uh, put it down back in the day, it still uh, rever uh, reverberates through the people. And I, I like that word, reverberate. Like that, right? <laughs> That's a big ass like word. It, it sounds like it, it, it sound I like like gotta go look that up. <laughs> you know, and, um, reverberate. I like it. it is, yeah, it reverberates when you say it. Um, <laughs> Reverberate. 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 Be, be repeated several times as an echo. Her. Deep booming laugh reverberated around the room. <laughs> Appear to. So, what we need to reverberate? <laughs> this is a real word. Oh my God. This is where this he's he really Talib. He he's really Talib. We need to reverberate. This nigga smart. Him and the roots. And yeah, I, like how we gotta, I like how hip hop is going and we got to reverberate. Reverberate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. This, this, this boy right here, this man is a man. He got big words. Oh, boy, oh, Mike Tyson oh, ain't got shit on him. Yeah, I'm not good. You know what? <laughs> oh, Tyson. Tyson words, baby. No, joke. but Tyson words <laughs> don't, <laughs> is not it. <laughs> they but they you. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, he good. They but that. I looked it Stop up. Man, let's finish the 50 years of hip hop. Oh, yeah, I look, I'm just chilling. Okay. All right. All right. How you feel? How I feel? My mic is chilling too. That shit flipped over. I too feel great. No, no, no. I feel great about it because yeah. you know you already know. Like I know the the, the 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 position I'm in, the situation and where I come from in the streets, and being able to be into this situation and be here, man, I am blessed. Like seriously, it take it, it take care of my son, my mama. It done helped me a lot. Kept me safe out of these streets. Gave me a place to go and things to do. So I I love it. I'm blessed. I'm I'm blessed no for my brother to. Invite me on this ride with him. I was on my journey solo, but then he brought me in with him, and it's just, it's amazing. We brought you bro. in. Shout out Numb. Yeah, Numb we, you part yeah, of Shout out to Numb. Oh, we Shout got the tape. Numb. I got the tape. He, Numb, you got the tape. I got the tape. I Numb saved it just in case you want numbers. Yeah, Numb. You made got to. Motherfuckers be lying and shit. But one more thing I want to say about keeping your receipts, because you said something I like before we get out of here. You said, uh, and, and talk about how people be in your comments and hating on you online. You said, the best way to tell me that you don't fuck with me. It's to not fuck with me. Right. Period. I think that's bars right Yeah, that's it. Right. That's, that's it. it. Period. I hate fake niggas. Mm -hmm. right. That's the thing about 50 years in hip hop. A lot of people was fake at first. Mm -hmm. You know, you come from where I come from. You from the cloth. I don't know. I'm in my 40, late 40s. But I come from where they wasn't looking at hip hop at all. Like, it took Mike 
to yeah. break the barrier to get on it. Mike was the first black artist on MTV. That's right. Then it took right. Run DMC to go do some shit with Errol Smith to even get on right. MTV Rock This Way. Mm -hmm. But we had shit way before that that was popping that never hit MTV. Right. That's right. So it was a fucking fight. And then for MTV to boom, one year later have MTV raps and two years later and just hop back up in the shit for BT, I mean from uh BH Soul to Rap City right. and you know what I mean? The, the basement. basement. Like we right. we did a lot, bro. Right. To come from like Melly Mel, you know what I mean? And and, and motherfucking the, the niggas dressing like Parliament and look mm -hmm. how you swagged out yeah. now. Like we done came a long ass way, what my nigga. I'm you know proud because I watched when hip hop wasn't famous, when yes. it wasn't common, when niggas said it was a fad and they was against it, and when it when new wave and pop wave and, right. and fucking like all that shit right. was popping, like you know what I mean, and right. and disco and shit, they wasn't they counted us out, right. break dance and all that shit. They didn't fuck with that. Like now, look, you got Jabba Walk, you got you break dance in the Olympics, right? You can't do nothing. Break dancing is in the everywhere. motherfucking right. Olympics. That's you right. hear me? Hip hop breaking is, is in the Olympics. <laughs> That's right. Like, we done leveled all the way up. Me, I'm proud of where hip hop is because yes, I is. seen where it wasn't That's right. when it first started. You too. That's right. And the, where it's at right now, how commercialized it is. Like, every fucking commercial you hear is a hip hop jingle. Everything you see in a movie is a hip hop something. Everything mm -hmm. that go down with the fashion world got somebody hip hop to make it pop. Right. Like, it takes our motherfucking, we gotta, like, you know what I mean? That's Put right. the stamp on it to That's make right. shit pop. Literally. Right. Right. So to be to us, and then one more thing before I end on the subject, for it to be the number one genre in the world. Oh. Can I get one of those? When, when, the, when the kids do it, can I get one in the middle? Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I got to get one in the middle when the kids do it. <laughs> Come on, man. We need and all I'm going to add on to that is let's, could, as artists, take it upon ourselves because it's, it's only on us to create a situation where we don't have to wait 50 years. We should have a, a year like this every year. Every year. Wow. Yes. Right. And one more thing, I think. We need a motherfucking um, a union. Uh, absolutely. Right. We need a we need a, a sag. You preach. We need that. some shit well, to I where we of... got some. Hold on, let me land. You need some shit to where we got medical, dental, motherfucking um uh, 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 right? uh, SS. Yeah, nice. Steve nice. Stout retirement. Nice. Half a million. They right? did for Rakim, Rakim and for a couple other people. And Rakim. 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 But yes, it's on us so to it, do it. Yes. It, it, it needs right. to be done, bro. Because there's so many old school artists that's not being taken care of. You know what I mean? Um, fucking recipes of Black Rock. Recipes. Right. Like Come on, if if, right. if we would have had to, the to union for putting out that Black Rob album too. Yeah, if we would have had the help. union. Yeah, his his medical bills would have been taken bad. care of. Right. You know what I mean? So shit like that. You know That's what I mean? Right. That could really help like hip hop pioneers. You know what I mean? Right. Straight up. So we need a union. That's right. right. Definitely. Right. And shout out to Nas. That what you say they right. did? They just did to have a minute. They made yes. it. Nas and Steve Stout and some other people put together a, a, a foundation where they given. Half a million dollars to certain, certain artists. old school artists. Yes, yeah, that, that needs to be done. Yeah. They need to be taken care of. Yep. I think they stepping up to the plate like, with that. If we run it like the union, everybody take five. I don't know how much they get. Five percent, three percent, whatever it is. Everybody take three percent out they shit, man. And you guaranteed to get your shit too. Mm -hmm. Sign me up. Sign right. me up. Right. I get three yeah. percent. Well, I'm getting paid. Too. I like that. Let's normalize, right. you know, supporting unions again because I think man, people move man. away from that. Absolutely. And, and then when we want some shit moved and shook, we all unionize or what we got to do? Collectivize. 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 You got to have vision. You got to have vision. <laughs> yeah, so we got to collectivize. Black Dynamite. You feel me? And uh, shit, get this you shit know, going, man. So. Thank you, my brother. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I know no, you got good shit to fly. do, man. Thank, Thank you, bro. Man, follow him. Yes, sir. Make sure you follow us. Follow us. Yes, the people's party. Now that I am. It's a Lucas, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Finish in his motherfucker, man. Why not die? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Look what we done started. Look at what we done started. This the people party. When opportunity knocking, then y'all nigga move that door. Get your foot stuck in the